Welcome back to Let's Play Bionic Commando. I'm Burning Dogface, and in the premiere episode, we, uh, watched some cutscenes, read a lot of text, and shot some bad guys. Is 48 the max I can carry in this thing? Yep. Good to know. Yes, I know I need to find my arm. It's not like it's on my shoulder. See if we can improve on that for this episode. Whoa! What the hell? Thought I had subtitles enabled. Oh, I guess I do have subtitles enabled. That's right, they were showing up in the cutscene. I think they were. Self-doubt. Okay, we'll find out soon enough, I guess. Maybe it's just not ambient dialogue. Shoot an enemy while zoomed in to complete the challenge. Yay! Okay, uh, precision. The bullet. Oh, the bullet spread of the tungsten is decreased and zoomed in. Oh, that's what they meant by rewards. So I get these not achievements and uh, actually earn stuff for it. Totally expecting a jet flyby or something. That's what usually happens in uh, enclosed walkways. I guess Pokeball here. Keep on rocking. Exaggerated run animation, don't you think? Oh, that's his head. I keep hitting X because I expect a need to reload, but I guess I just don't. I guess that's what they meant by, uh, modified for Bionic Commandos. It has an unlimited clip, as long as you've got bullets. Yes, it uses Doom technology. Well, that should be the last of the collectibles. Now, do I not get anything for that one? Ah, uh, well. Yes, I know it's unexpected. This is granted. What the f This is gonna hurt. Oh dear. Emily? What 
What the fuck? Why did I just beat a man to death? Your bionic arm can reach and attach to a surface if the attached reticle turns blue. Jump and attach to the green beam. Swing back and forth three times without releasing. Okay. Uh, I guess it's worth mentioning. Uh, I wasn't planning on bringing it up this quickly, but, uh, when they put this game out, in order to, uh, you know, draw up interest, they released a, uh, a download-only game called Bionic Commando Rearmed that was a remake of the original game. Uh, and I remember reading that, uh, if you had both games, you unlocked an option in this one to use a skin based on the way uh, uh, Spencer looked in the you know, original game, which took place ten years earlier. And uh, I think this is actually that skin. So I like that they kind of threw it in for this flashback. Let's get you swinging. Release when you're at the optimal oh. swing angle, marked by the blue swing indicator. Your momentum will launch you forward. Oh, you actually let go! Work. You gather speed by pushing forwards or backwards while swinging. If you do it right, you'll travel further when you release. If you hit A, you just reel yourself in. Whoa! Right. Not used to it not being a button. Like, if I just let go, he immediately does that. Not want. No, it wasn't. I hadn't been going to mention the other game because, uh. Ooh, nice timing. Not bad. Be uh. If you're gonna get anywhere, right. you'll have to put consecutive swings together. Swing, release, and aim for the next beam. Yeah, I hadn't been going to mention it because, uh... <laughs> Look at those ridiculous sunglasses. Oh dear. Apparently the, uh, rearmed game came with a, uh... Well, it brought... it inadvertently created a pretty, uh, significant example of, uh, what I've heard referred to as Xena Syndrome. Where the... Jesus Christ. Where the, uh, spin-off or sequel of something... No, no, it only refers to spin-offs, that's right. Where the spin-off of something turns out to be, uh, more popular than the original thing. You know, because Xena was a spin-off of Hercules' Legendary Journeys. Kevin Sorbo. The leap up is a great maneuver to scale walls vertically or to jump up onto ledges. All right. Like this game got pretty good reviews, but uh, I'm guessing because of the nostalgia factor. Uh, uh, Rearmed got amazing reviews. 
It even got, you know, it even got a sequel while this one didn't. Uh, a few years later, they put out Bionic Commando Rearmed 2, which uh, used the same engine as the remake to tell a new story. Good job, soldier. Stay clear of irradiated areas. If you get a radiation warning, get out of there on the double. Also, remember that you can't attach to irradiated surfaces. What? Why not? Can't just shoot the uh, hook out here. All right. Green waypoints on the heads-up display show your current mission objective. Fuck you, too late. Oh. aren't just for kicks. They also break falls that would otherwise be deadly. I was kind of wondering about those. They looked a bit kick-ass for a guy on death row. The bionic arm will grapple any suitable surface if you keep holding down attach. Fuck you, radiation! That's better. Impressive. Relays are a key objective to complete some missions. To hack them, you'll need to eliminate all enemies in the immediate vicinity. Why? What are you gonna do about it? Got your face. Alright, yeah, I could just shoot him in the face while I'm doing that. Nice! Why would it know? All right, fine. Uh. Kite it into the air, then B to throw it or smash it, depending on target distance. That seems useful. Nice dragon punch. Alright, this stuff I'm picking up on, at least. Uh... Oh! Soldier, you 
finished all challenges in the training simulation. You can exit the tutorial by accessing the relay again. What's this? I saw this on the way out. point of the boots is I don't need to do that, huh? Arg. for like another way out of this room that I didn't look at. I do like the uh, plane flying overhead noise and he does that. That's tricky. Putting collectibles in the uh What? Oh! Shit, my finger slipped. Uh, no, it was the other side. Actually, I don't think it matters. I'll just go from here. Damn it! Ow. Son of a... seems pretty straightforward. I don't think you really see a way to uh, get around that. That wasn't it. Oh, that's better. You can still do it as long as you're holding on. This might be the same. Nope! Did I get this one? Oh, I get it. No, no, that's a wall, isn't it? Is there a rune mutant? Is that a thing? Felt good. You know, it's worth mentioning. Oh wait, probably gonna be cutscene here. Maybe the uh, higher ranking guys don't look so lame. Oh no, it was aliens. Outpost, do you read me? Go ahead, what's your status? 
We have hostiles within the perimeter. Got your nose. Oh, weird. They form into fingers when he's... Yeah, not doing that. Perform a swing to complete the challenge. Kick in the back. Wait, can I just grapple on it? No, not anything, but... That counted! Yeah! Three consecutive swings to complete the challenge. Alright, um... Before we do this... I wanted to mention... Yes, no? I thought that was one of the things I had to do. That, uh... The storyline of the original game was even crazier in uh, Japan. They, uh, the game over there was about a terrorist group that uh, wanted to bring Adolf Hitler back from the dead. I shit you not. The, uh, the actual title in uh, Japan wasn't Bionic Commando, it was Top Secret, The Resurrection of Hitler. And, uh, you know, you totally fought Adolf Hitler as the last boss. So when they brought it over to uh, the States, Nintendo of America, Nintendo of America, who were you know infamously uh, squeamish at this point in their existence, uh, censored a bunch of stuff so that instead of being a group of neo-Nazis, they were, and again, I should you not, the English name for the uh, evil team, what well, evil team, the evil uh, organization was the Bads, B-A-D-D-S, the Bads. And, uh, their leader was the generically described Master D. You know, I'm pretty sure they went back, you know, this Imperial stuff, that's probably what they called them in, uh, Rearmed, since they made these games at the same time. And, uh, I'm guessing that vaguely Germanic name it referenced at one point. We can't, uh, like, shoot this up in the air, whatever, maybe they haven't unlocked it yet. And this vaguely Germanic name uh, they mentioned on point, I'm assuming that's the new name for, uh, not Hitler. But, just so you guys know, for the purposes of this LP, I will be imagining this man as the dude who killed Hitler a second time. <laughs> Maybe he picked up where B.J. Blazkowicz left off. <laughs> uh, that being said, we're out of time. So, I'm Burning Dogface, and now that we've got this old friend back, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Bionic Commando. I get the feeling things are about to open up in an interesting way. Later!